state leaders are continuing to take your feedback about the long delayed red line project. The Maryland Transit Administration is holding community meetings before they finalize their plans. Janae Reese is in your corner this morning, breaking it all down for us. Janae, good morning. Good morning, Amy and Cena. Well, commuters simply say they want better transportation, while some say this is all a matter of accessibility, while others believe that this conversation, uh, the city rather, should focus should be elsewhere. Now, this is what community members had to say last night as the Maryland Transit Administration held an open house meeting in West Baltimore. Commuters gave feedback on what they want to see in the upcoming East to West Transit service, and they also saw three potential routes for the red line. Now, the first option uses tunnels along Cook's Lane. The second option runs mostly on the north end with more stops through and towards Eastern Avenue, and the third runs on the southern end along Boston Street. Transportation officials say the roughly 14 mile line may cut commuters time in half, connecting people with much needed services. But neighbors have different thoughts about the project so far. I think affordable housing could be um, better used for money than um, the system that they have here. We already have some things in place like the subway. I believe in the idea of having a robust public transit system. And we want to make sure that we can bring neighbors together. We want to make sure that we can bring people from the east side to the west side for jobs, for entertainment, you know, for health benefits. So having that connectivity will just make us a stronger city. And transportation officials say funding is scarce for this project and construction is still well into the future. Now, if you missed last night's information meeting, there are more planned for later this week. And right now, the public comment period will go on until November 25th. For now, reporting live on your corner, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.